Hi, this is Jeff with the IT department, and I'm here to talk to you today about the EUU Library Wireless Printer and how you can use it. To locate the Pierce Wireless Printer, you're going to want to proceed to the first floor in the Pierce Library on the west end side of the building past the circulation desk. You'll see a black Kyrocera printer, a coin tower, and a computer that's your kiosk to retrieve your print jobs. So some benefits to the EU wireless printer is you can print either color or black and white pages. Single or double sided is available. Paper is already provided for you in either an 8x5 or an 11x17 format. And the print jobs can automatically be billed to your EU student account. So it makes it very easy to uh, purchase a print job and, and pay for it later. Or you can also pay with cash or card on site. To access the EU wireless printer, all you need to do is log into your Mountie Pass using your Mountie Pass credentials. And from there, locate the Library Print button. Click on it. And this will bring you to a new prompt where you can select whether you want a black and white. This is basically a single sided page, black and white, double sided, black and white, 11 by 17 color, either color or double sided. The fees for each page, for each side, black and white is 10 cents, the color is 25 uh, per page. You just simply enter your email address and the file that you want to print. Please note if you're not using a computer to send a print job to the wireless printer, you're going to want to access these uh, instructions on how to print from a mobile device, and then it'll display information on how to print for a single page, double-sided page, 11 by 17 in color. For this example, I'm going to download the Campaign Creative Guidelines PDF. It's a three-page color document, but I'm going to print it in black and white. At this time, these are the current formats available to utilize with the wireless printer. Please note if you're using Google Docs by any chance, you need to download your print job into one of these formats to proceed. So for this example I'm going to print it as a black and white single-sided. I'm going to enter my email address and I'm going to select the file which is going to be that campaign creative guide. It's three pages. You then click this play button which is basically your next button. From here you can select the number of copies that you want to create or you can specify which pages you want. So for this I'm just going to select all pages in one copy. And from here this confirms the number of pages that you're printing and the price for each. So if you're ready to approve this job you just click this print button. Then after you press the green print button you'll get this screen indicating that your request is being processed and from here you can proceed to the Pierce Library where the copier is located. From here I'm going to turn this over to Tay to show you how to finish retrieving your copy job from the library. After your print job has been sent to the kiosk here, you're going to want to locate your job based off of either your user ID, whether 910 number or your EOU email. Once you've located your job, you want to make sure it's highlighted. If you do click it, it will deselect it, so make sure you select the proper one. Click print in the upper left hand corner and it gives you your options to pay here. Here you can either pay from the vending machine if you do not want to charge your account or you can pay from your AAM account. To pay for AAM account, you're going to want to go ahead and click on that. It's going to prompt you for your library card number, which is your 910 number, and then your user PIN, which is the last four of your social. After you've input your information and it's correct, it'll then show you what your total owing is here. You have to click on the pay from AAM credit account balance again, and then it releases your job. And you can see from here, here's my print job. If you do decide to utilize the pay by student account, you will receive an email receipt uh, with your uh, information of your print job. It'll indicate the date, the total amount applied, and a transaction number. So if you ever have any questions, you can always contact the student accounts office and their contact information will be included on the email. Please note you can also pay for your print job directly there using this coin tower. Just simply follow the instructions that are posted there by the station.
And if you have any questions regarding the EUU wireless printer, you can always check out our knowledge base article. You can always email us at helpdesk at euu.edu or you can give us a call at 541-962-3111. Thanks for watching.